Shas Re'ei Tavshinayim Tes. Once again, we bring you this year from Yerushalayim, Yerakoidesh. Um, once again, in the background, we have the beautiful sounds of construction in Yerushalayim. Seems to never stop, which is all good news. But uh, yes, it is a lot of noise, but it's good noise. And our Pasha begins with the Pasuk Re'ei Anoichi Noisein Lepneichem Hayoim. We are putting before you Beracha Ukalala, the first pasuk of our parsha, and one of the things that the Nesiva Shalom speaks about on this first pasuk is that Nesiva Shalom focuses in, in a few different ways actually, but he focuses in on the significance of the word Hayoyim. The pasuk says, It could have just said Lifneichem Beracha Ukalala, but it says. Noisein lifneichem hayoim bracha uklala. And the Sibi Shalom brings a story that somebody came to the Kabrina Rav, Zuchusi Yogan Aleinu, and he asked him what would be the most vital thing in life that he could do? What would be something in Avodas Hashem that the person wanted to know what he should absolutely focus on? He said to the Kabrina Rav, give me one thing, one thing that's going to bring me closer to Hashem, one thing that's going to make me as a person. And the Kavrinas of Chesiyog and Aleinu told him the following, and he answered that the most important thing that you, you the person, the most important thing that you can do is whatever needs to be done right now. And that really is a very, very powerful, powerful thought and powerful lesson. The, the idea of Hayoin, focusing in what needs to be done right now, today. And the Sivah Shalom tells us that just as the Kiyah Shoifer and Achilas Matzah, these mitzvahs are very great mitzvahs. But of course, they're only great mitzvahs if they're done in the time that we're supposed to. If somebody blew Shoifer on Hanukkah, if somebody eats Matzah on Sukkot, you don't have anything. They're great mitzvahs, but only in the right time. And really, it's like that with everything in life, says in the Shalom. There's a time, and there's something that be, needs to be done today, and in the right time. And if you procrastinate and you push it off for tomorrow, or you don't do the right thing today, you miss the boat. And it's like that, says in the Shalom, in Asay Toiv, in doing mitzvahs, and also Sur Meira. A, per- a person has to look around and see what you have to do right now, and you don't procrastinate, go ahead and do it. And you also need to look around and see what your challenges are right now, your challenges that you have at the moment, and address them. Take care of them right now. Because as the Yisoyed Avoida we've mentioned in the past, the Yisoyed Avoida tells us Peshem, the Arizal, very famous thing that the Arizal says. Arizal says that you, a person has to know that no two people in the world are alike. Every single person is different than the other person. And not only that, no two times, no two moments in the history, no two moments in time are ever like any other moment, which makes what you need to do at this moment, it makes it extremely, extremely unique and very, very specific. And it's unique to you, and it's unique to you only today. It's the only chance you will ever have to accomplish what you need to do today. And that is the word of our Parsha. That is Hayoyim, the word in our Pasuk. And just imagine how much time people waste. How much time you are wasting by being busy minding everyone else's business. We're always worried about what everybody else is doing and why they're doing it now and tomorrow. We're all worried. And this is really the way of the Yetzirah. The Yetzirah wants to distract you from your task at hand. And the Yetzirah keeps you busy looking at your neighbors and looking at your friends and looking at your other family members to always be worried about what they have to do and what they are doing wrong. And the Yetzirah makes you feel like this big tzaddik who's always looking out for everybody else, and you're always worried about everyone else, you're always worried about their ruchnias, right? Well, of course, you're totally 
missing the boat, and that's what the Yitzhara wants. Spend your time being worried about everybody else, asking Shilas about everybody else. It seems to me that everybody else is doing the wrong thing. In the meantime, the focus is taking off of you. And what you have to do today, what you have to do, the Hayoim, what you were supposed to accomplish today, now the Yitzhara accomplishes by not allowing you to do that and just be worrying about everybody else. And the Torah tells it to us in our Pasuk in the Lushen of a Bracha. Today, Bracha. The next word is a Bracha. If you actually follow what you're supposed to do and you focus on yourself and what am I supposed to accomplish today, that is a tremendous bracha. The Torah tells us that is the Mikoira bracha. That is what brings every other bracha into our lives. And we say every day in Davani, HaMechadesh B'Tuvoy B'Chol Yom Tomid Ma'asei B'Reshis. The Hashem renews creation. He renews it, Ma'asei B'Reshis, every day. And what's the purpose of that? Hashem could have created the world, created the world in six days. We had a Shabbos Kodesh and set the world forth. Let it go. Let everything be in a system, let it be on track to go. But Hashem is showing us by renewing Hashem is showing us every day that every day is a new project. Every day is a new beginning. And what you could accomplish today, you couldn't do yesterday most of the time. And what you, could, and, and what you are supposed to do, nobody else could do. Every day is a new moment a new time in creation that never was and never will come back again. It's a new challenge for every person. And really, what a lesson this is. The lesson of Hayoim, the lesson to accomplish today what you need to accomplish because that time will not be back. Chazal tell us, v'yoyim, on every single day, basko yoytzeis, a basko comes out from Shemayim, comes out from Harsinai, um, in other places it says, and it says, Shuvu vonim shayvavim. My children, my children come back and do tshuva. So really, why do we need, on this Maimar Chazal, we have to ask, why do we need a baskol every day? We should just say that a baskol once came out and said to always be um, aware of what you're doing. Why do we need a new baskol every day? And the answer is really, says in Siva Shalom, we have been saying that every day is so different. Every day is a new opportunity and a new world. And it's an opportunity that we will not have again tomorrow. And we need to learn that lesson and to work on it. And if you work on that lesson and you learn it and you actually practice it, you bring tremendous baracha into your life. Hayoim baracha. And it's not easy. And you know how you know it's not easy? Because you see, we even need a baskol to come out and tell us that every day is different. And you know, and every day is a new message from Hashem. And the Torah tells us, the Torah tells us, you get a bracha, but the next word is also kalala. You know what the kalala is, says in the Siva Shalom? If you don't listen to this message, if you don't listen to this message of today, it's considered kalala because you're missing your entire tafkid in life. You're missing your purpose in life. In lois ishmu, then it's a kalala. But the bracha is always that much more. If you're not worried about everybody else, of course you have to be concerned with your chaverim. We have to always take care of our friends and take care of our families. But we all know when we're really, really interested and we're just really interested in shifting the blame and worrying about everybody else. We all know that too. And we have to know and we have to accomplish is to use this lesson of Hayoin, use this lesson of today. And we need to begin today because if we wait till tomorrow, we're missing out today. This is the lesson of the beginning of our Parsha. This is the lesson of something that we need to think about, a lesson we can take back with us from Eretz Yisrael. If Mashiach is not here by later today, and we may have to go back, we know we have to accomplish these things, to grow, to grow in Torah, and you're a Shemaim, and Avodas Hashem, and the lesson of the Kabrina. Remember, the biggest thing you could do for Avodas Hashem is what you need to do today.